The Bible said faith is the substance of things hoped for. It's the evidence of things not seen. Then what would you say to it then? Now, it's not a myth. It's not a thought. It's not a hope. It's not a wish. It's a substance. It's actually something that you possess. For instance, I come to you and I say to you, I am hungry. I have to have some bread. And you say, what do you need? What money do you need? I need 25 cents to buy a loaf of bread. I'm hungry. And you say, here is the 25 cents. Now, 25 cents is the purchase power of the loaf of bread. And as long as I've got the 25 cents, I've got it. It's a substance. I can be just as happy standing here with the 25 cents and the loaf of bread on Spring Street. Now, I've got the 25 cents. It's not just something I imagine. I'm possessing the 25 cents. I walk out the door. Well, I'm just as happy as I, if I had the bread. For I've got the purchase power. And if I've got the faith, the work is finished. If he can open that door and come in and give me the faith of God in my heart. It's finished. Amen. When I can really believe Him. It might not happen right then. When I'm going with the 25 cents in my hand, it's just as good as the bread to me. For I've got the purchase power of the the substance that I want. And when faith takes its hold in a heart, there's nothing can shake it. The work is finished. God has settled it. It's forever done. I go down the street. I cross over the river. I go through the briar patch. I'm getting hungrier all the time. I haven't got the bread yet, but all the time I'm going, I'm rejoicing because I've got the purchase power and the assurance that the bread belongs to me. Oh, blessed be His holy name. Yes. When I, before I get there, I may have cramps. I'm so hungry. Amen. I may get delirious till I'm fighting my way through the bushes like a madman. But as long as I'm holding the 25 cents, the bread got to come. Amen. There you are. Hallelujah. As long as that faith anchored, doctors may turn me down to all everything, but I'll be there. I'll be healed. God said so. I let him in to my door of heart. My faith was given to him and he gave me the promise and nothing will interfere with it. Abraham, when he was given the promise when he was 75 years old that he was going to have a child by Sarah, it was settled the very hour that Abraham opened up his heart and his door of faith and said, It will be done. Amen. And as he got older, he, the Bible said he never weakened in unbelief, but he was strong in faith, giving praise to God. For he knew that he was able to perform that what he had said. Amen. There's faith. Years passed by. Sarah no different. But he staggered not at the promise of God through unbelief, but was strong, giving praise to God. We who call ourselves Christians, we let Jesus in and say, Oh, I'm a Christian. And you can be a prayed for, anointed, or do what God says to you, or He can do some miracle before you. And you can see it. And if you're not healed instantly, well, that's it. I never got it. I'll come back the next time. You see, it isn't faith. You have to let him in. Say, Lord, here's the door. Come in and take a hold. Amen. Then when he walks in there, it's settled forever. I stand at the door and knock. He's trying to get in that little door of faith. If he can only work his way in there, then it's a settled thing. 
then you refuse to let the Lord come in the door of faith and manifest Himself to you. Oh, yes, you say, but Brother Branham, I am a Christian. I know, honey dear, you are a Christian. And I appreciate that by accepting the Lord. But you're living under your privilege. Amen. You're keeping your door closed. You're running from pillar to post and so forth because you don't believe. You must open that door of faith and let Him in. Then He will give you the desire of your heart. He that waiteth upon the Lord shall renew his strength. They shall mount up like eagles. They shall run and not be weary. They shall walk and not faint. If ye abide in me and my words abide in you, ask what you will and it will be given to you. Oh, dearly I say unto you, if thou shalt say to this mountain, be removed. And in the original Greek lexicon says, be raised up and thrown into the sea. Amen. And believe that it's being done. Amen. Oh my, believe that it's being done. You shall have what you Amen. say. Amen. Certainly. Oh, it don't have to be spontaneously. It don't have to be that way. Certainly not. Just as long as you believe it. 